hello everybody welcome to week two of super league um i am here up against hiru um, who uh, you know he struggled a little bit with his dwarves but now he's got necromantic so that's going to be very interesting i've got orcs the seven guards see how well they do um and in the booth with me is the legend that is Fymir, because I'm going to try and concentrate on playing Blood Bowl. But uh, Fymir is here to uh, make Blood Hello. Bowl great again. Hello, everybody. Yeah. Okay, that's my uh, formation. This is my anti-frenzy formation. Didn't think of doing it versus misspelled tree last time, but hopefully I'll remember. Werewolves have a uh, frenzy, yes. Yeah, so seven frenzy, guard for yeah. me. Yeah, seven guard for me, four guard for Hiru, plus he's got a couple of claws that you can get lucky, can he? Um, block on the walls, block on the girl. Every, everything's normal, 12 players. I've only got 11 plus an apple. Right, yeah, I'm going to concentrate now. Well, I said that last week. Let's. Hopefully I'll try and con I'll tr okay, I'm try to off. concentrate. Get out of here! Leave me here! I'll be in control uh, now. Well, here we are, another game of the Blood Bowl Super League. And I know uh, Jimmy said that I am alone in the booth, but that's not exactly true. Because Kale and G is with me. But because the recent events in Ireland where uh, Apple has to pay 13 billion euros in taxes, Kale has decided to make a bow of silence just in case anything he could say could make the Apple overlords angry. But instead of that, he's going to express his opinions, as Kellen is very well known and a fantastic dancer. So he'll do a dance move that I'll have to interpret and share with the chat. Kellen is now just uh, jumping up and down. I guess that's uh, happy about that. Don't worry, they will come, David, they will come. Now here comes the kickoff. And catch the ball. Oh, that's it. GG, end of the YouTube video. Thanks for being here, everybody. Oh, wait, wait. Dab skulls and it's them. I... I didn't have time to make the debates the about who's gonna, you know, dab a skull first. I mean, the ball is safe, relatively speaking, he can put the uh, You know, there, is a, there are no orcs in line of uh, violence towards the... There are? Wait, wait a second. I don't know, they will move doing dodges and the like. Hero is still with a full uh, time bank after that first turn. 7 minutes 30. Will he eat it? I hate it, it, and there is your LOS hits, always a disgrace in this game. Now, now, recently, recently there have been a, a running comment in the Blue Ball community, and with Blue Ball community, I mean this channel the other day when I was here, is that Artemis was the best fumble coach right now and see there is a some controversy about that so i'm gonna make a poll so people you know people that are here all of you can vote if uh, depending on your opinion in the subject i'm gonna start the the poll right now it's gonna run for 10 minutes
In the meantime, let's, uh, you, we can go back to the game. Oh, Blitz there. Is that a... No. Yes, it was a frenzy trap. Classic, uh, eternal classic. Never disappoints. And there is a chance that the, the wolf gets a punch in the face next time, unless there is a dodge from the wolf, which will be the ultimate necro coach uh, move. No, hero is not a high level coach. And a dodge and a fail at the hits. Oh my god, three dice with a troll. That's absolutely nothing. Gets the pow on the flesh golem that decides to stand firm. Oh, one in nine into one in 81. What a glorious lesson of Blood Bowl are we watching here? Every play is a masterful play. And yes, uh, Jimmy has many more uh, safe hits before that hit, as he's uh, menacing. He's pointing to his Orc Blitzer that he decided to ignore. Keolan, what are you doing? Uh, Keolan right there. Oh, he's doing a couple pirouettes and the death scene of the Swan on the Swan Lake. He, I think Hiro is thinking the chain. Freeing the, go the wolf. And the ghoul down, runs down the beach. Still, uh, Hiro needs to do a few more plays if he decides uh, protect the ball because right now he's not very well protected. There is more to be done. Oh, there you go. That's, uh, One in nine, not one in eighty one. Will the troll is stupid? No. That's better, Lee. Okay. Taking the hit with a big gun. Not a one in nine. He's going to chain. Problem is, that's 1D right there. No, it's 2D with a big gun uh, on the uh, grave.
And then he can try to blitz the wolf and put the pressure on the ball. And for those that are waiting for the, the magic moment. Well, he's blitzing the... What, what did just happen? What is going on? Wait, the foul appearance cancelled the whole blitz? I don't think that's how it's supposed to work. So let's make this clear. If Jimmy, instead of just declaring the blitz and double clicking the grave, will have declared the blitz, move the orc next to the grave, and then click on it to uh, to hit it, will have the orc move? Or is this just how foul appearance works in Blood Bowl now? Also, a reminder to everybody there is a poll uh, up to determine if uh, Artemis is the best Fumble uh, coach right now. Checking the voice of the people. Yes. Yes, I always thought that that's it. Full appearance is when you are going to block. You know, when you are going to hit the piece. Oh my god! That's how it works in the actual written rules of the game! Who thought that was a good idea? I am astonished. I am absolutely astonished. And uh, Keolan is doing the Podera, move to a pass and a forward just to show his discomfort about this. What a magnificent performance by uh, Keolan. Everybody knows it. Uh, Keolan was a very good uh, Expressive dancer. Well, I mean, I mean, that's absolute radius. It, it, that's how it works. That's absolute radius. Oh, a KO, at least something happens. Oh, here we go to the on the side stepper, maybe, no? Before trying with the there you go. Troll works. Gets the pow. Bang. I am so outraged that I was going to do the random country, you know, for the, the game, and I forgot. I'll do it as soon as Hero Turns uh, begins. That's a lot of fail uh, fall appearance. 
All right. The country for this game is Cuba. In the Caribbean Sea, with the capital of the Havana, the currency is the Cuban peso. The national flower is the West Mariposa. And the national league is Ropa Vieja. And the language, obviously, in Cuba is Spanish. For now. Well, and the question the poll ended, and the answer to is Artemis the best fan by the coaches? I don't know, maybe not. So there you go, the community has spoken, so maybe Artemis is not the best uh, fan by the coach. Obviously, you're watching this on YouTube, you can leave a... Uh, your comments about the Artemis being the best or not the best uh, family coach, just write it down under the different uh, bots comments that probably have a pop up around and uh, promoting uh, a lot of the uh, cryptocurrency scams. Oh. We're reaching, we're already turn five. Is he going to punch the upper wall for the lower wall? Well, I guess this answers the question. Guess the pow. No armor break. He's counting the squares in case he can base the ball with two players. He needs to be careful because he also could uh, be at risk of being served. He decides not to base the ball. Fails the... Oh, 1D. Fails the stupid roll. What a really stupid skill. I mean, he says he's down, down the, in the left. You can see he uses the really stupid skill. Bottom left should be my option for the, the side step. Or maybe he wants to protect the flesh golem, in which case uh, up or left will be also good options. Hero using his uh, time bank for this. I a loss. Oh, there you go. He decides to keep protecting the the flesh golem with that guard. Well, it seems that Dimi is a. Uh, Recommending watch uh, Hiru versus Jim in the last season. Oh, oh my god! Four plus dots with a reroll. 75% with a reroll. And now, because it's the second push 
against the same piece, Hero doesn't give the 30 seconds that he got for the first one because he uses all of that time, which is like, what the hell? Anyway, in the uh, Jimmy's uh, YouTube channel, uh, you can uh, watch the first uh, the game of the Hero versus uh, Jim in the last season. Now, should Hero score, or is going to try to keep the, the stall? Oh, he's trying to keep the stall. He's aiming to get the 2D on the, the Blitzer, but the problem is that everybody has guard, more or less. Unless he uses the wolf, that is a bottom right. But the problem is that it will get, get him to a frenzy trap. It's a frenzy trap? Yeah, it will be 1D. 2D into 1D. Yep, this is a stall. Rolls a uh, 1D because you know that the, 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 there wasn't any other relevant thing to do. Double skulls, each time use the team roll down. Magic in there into armor break. You don't see that every day. And now Jimmy rolling a six for the stupid, really stupid, showing dominance. Hello, Nick Brock, Nick Brock Naf. Guess the pow. He should go to the right, just to be in the way. Oh, double pow. None. All appearance, another fail. Okay, here comes the blitz. Okay, good enough. Ball is base. All appearance fails again. Yes, my card tends to be, tends to be, unless you are the opponent, in which case you prefer, you know, your opponents to roll uh, quad skulls. It's all in the eye of the beholder, you know, they, they even made a series of games called that. I think I can see 2D on the blitz. There you go, Hero show it too. Doesn't quad skull, surprisingly. And he's thinking right now, should I score? I 
I think he can uh, still stall to score in the eighth turn. He goes for the safe square. Oh my god, three plus dodge works and this more or less is gonna close the door. Now he's counting the squares of the opponent's uh, pieces and that's the right place uh, to be. Safe from Jimmy Cool uh, base the ball with a three plus and two rush, or he could four plus, four plus, three plus, two plus, two plus, or a one D on the ball with uh, again, you know, to roll a six. Very low equity on that one. Uh, Don't you agree, uh, Kellan? And Kellan is uh, doing right now uh, the attitude. Ballet uh, move. Okay, so for the pushes, for the time to decide what to do with the pushes when you have side step or uh, stand firm, you get 30 seconds total. Not per block, per turn. That seems also uh, a little weird. Oh, GFI is gonna try to kill a wolf. Is the is the orc that cried wolf? Glorious uh, roll. Astonishing results in this uh, first half. Trying to get a hit with Mighty Blow. Yes, he's still the seconds in the uh, total. Oh, badly hard. Bad regions with a six. And I think he is going to check the board to see if there is any chance to hit anything. He can hit the. Oh, 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 oh. He has 2D into 2D in the guard the piece or the big gun. Formerly known uh, Black Orcs, but now the Black Orcs are their own stunty team. And it's a touchdown for the Fibulous Horror of Hiru. One nil in a half that was full of rolls. There was a lot of rolls, well, still one uh, last time for uh, Jimmy. There were uh, many rolls in the, the, uh, in the, the drive. Most of them were absolutely terrible. This is not what you expect from top, 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 top world class of these world uh, coaches, but sometimes happens. Hiru, very confident in that the Jimmy is not going to get the one turn. 
I will be too. But maybe a little too confident. It's possible to do it with movement six uh, pieces. Now, do we need with movement six pieces without sure hands or anything related? Oh, well, I think uh, it was a fair trade for the big guns. <laughs> At least they are in a proper uh, Blood Bowl team, not like the Black Orcs that got a scam. Okay, oh no, he has, he has a Mr. Throw. Sorry, sorry, Jimmy has a Mr. Throw. High kick. Fails the catch. The dice. Fantastic result. All the reward works. And uh, Jimmy obviously is going to try to get as many uh, three dice as possible and two dice with block because that's what you do. Trying to get at least something. And I'm gonna start a prediction. Oh, injury, failed regen. And there you go, the prediction started. Is this going to be a draw? Will uh, Jimmy manage to score for the 1-1? One -one? Will Jimmy manage to score two touchdowns? Will Hero manage to steal the ball and uh, get the win? Hiru, the classic uh, rule of five, exposing only the skillless uh, ghoul, only has dodge. Well, uh, the prediction is going strongly in clearly a draw. Brilliant coaching, and that's a real more for a uh, hero, I think. Yes. Even if uh, Jimmy has two assistant coaches, roll a one. Glorious uh, 3D with the troll. Not bad. Fails the regen. So now is uh, guaranteed 10 players maximum for a hero. Okay, he's going for the big hit on the ghoul. Taking advantage of the chain chance. 
fantastic uh, the dodge result which is exactly the skill that the ghoul has and now comes the moment mr throw slowly but surely Pick up the ball, thanks to sure hands. If the prediction is going to be very, very one-sided. What's gonna happen now? Hirus pondering base players move a little back. Well, he already lost the first game of the Blood Bowl Super League, so if he wants to get a good uh, chance to make it to the playoffs, he needs to win. A draw and a loss is not a, a very good result, especially when there are coaches like Dimi G that's won every single game that I play. 100% success rate for Dimi. All right, here we go. Trying to hit the, the goal again. Oh, it's a little greedy and pays the ultimate price. He was aiming to get a power or a push so he could get the troll in the middle of the action. Instead, he eats the one in 27. But Jimmy is enjoying playing Blood Bowl recently. That's we are surprised for uh, our viewers, but yes, he's having a good time. Also, for the people watching on the YouTube, if you want to make a comment, I have a question for you. Have you seen such... I don't know how to call the dice rolls of this game, but such a chain of events as in this game. What was your worst turn in Blood Bowl? Or better said, your worst drive in Blood Bowl. Whoa. No armor break, but now the Necros don't, don't need even to. Oh, that one move. Surprise. Oh, there is a baseball action. Here comes the wolf. Whoa. And here comes the blitz. As a lot of sixes get the pow. Well, well, the GG is incoming. Well, and now, 
And now the people, everybody is thinking, oh my God, I should have put the, you know, some points in the prediction and all that. There you go. You didn't learn when Bitcoin came and now you are paying the price. Oh, that's a lot of uh, rats. But uh, he could have used another roll, so it's more or more okay. So I when he has three rolls, the ball is there. Well, this is as easy as I've ever seen a play. Three plus dodge from the Mr. Throw, pick up the ball, pass to the blitzer. Cage. Nice chain to free the blitzer, making him stay one square uh, closer to the action. And now he's aiming for the chain that will free Mr. Throw. Use the roll, guess the pass is great. Eh? Scatter. Well, I'd say that Scatter benefits Hero more than Jimmy. And this is going to be a death blitzer. Oh no, man is the dodge, man is the GFI, man is the GFI. Oh my god, Jimmy is so lucky, he's getting all the rolls. In the meantime, for those that are in chat that doesn't know me or... Uh, Sorry that, let me introduce myself with just a small video of my channel, you know, nothing to brag about, just casual day at the gym. Well, also, let's remember that the Blue Bowl Super League, the top prize is a ticket for the World Cup, and Jimmy already has it. And now, well, one thing we can agree of this game, that is more or less a quick game. Yes, clearly Hero wants the win. Instant, instant roll. That's not a roll. Okay, now, finally. Jimmy has a chance to get the ball. Oh! Big armor break. Big boy armor break.
going for the blitz. Dab skulls, of course. He has to pick the block one. That's he. Maybe not. He could not be free the line of the Mr. Throw on the ground. Instant full reroll, instant uh, fail. Each uh, coach desperate to give the ball to the other coach. Just a bit of a dicey. Okay, well. Yes, yes, but uh, it's not like Hiro has had uh, great roles either. True. I mean, and ultimately, I, I messed up you know, as, as much as the 1 in 27 got me. But um, it's a bit of a dicing. Bit of a dicing. What can you do? What can you do? I don't know, both of you are desperate to compete who, to see who gets the worst rolls. Hiro got a quad skulls. I do guess the pow seems uh, they uh, got the dice now. What a lad! What an absolute unit of a lad! And uh, oh, that was a little uh, greedy there. Well, Jimmy needs to roll a pow versus the ghoul. KO. Well. There you go. No rolls. Guess the ground pow. Right now, any roll is a massive danger for uh, Jimmy. The turnover is around the corner, but also the final the armor breaks. And here comes now the good roll, so when we check, you know, the dice log later, everything was fine, there wasn't any problem, just another game of Blood Bowl. Another full appearance fail, I think that's a... around 60% fail. Instead of the regular 
Well, I'll tell you guys, the prediction was 34,000 points for yes, this is going to be a draw, and 10 points for of course not. I feel bleeds, red dice, oh my god! He did the difficult part, but failed the easy part. Have you ever, guys, seen that in a game of Blood Bowl? And now Jimmy needs this. Jimmy needs to create the pass down a threat. Oh, an armor break would have been absolutely magical. Is uh, Mr. Throw in range to pick up the ball? I don't think so. Okay, here we go. Blitz. Again, just exactly the only skill that that ghoul has. No rerolls, no fear. Gets the pow. Because that's what you get when you roll without block. Everybody knows that. And now the pickup fails. Not about the square, but woof. What a game of Blood Bowl this has been. The ultimate dicing. Nelly for both of them. I think uh, Jimmy has uh, a little worse dice, but the hero's dice hasn't, hasn't been spectacular either. A game better to be forgotten, and the night it existed, like Concord. This is like if Concord was a game of Blood Bowl, this is it. Now, he only has one reroll and every single thing he can do to put any kind of pressure on the ball involves rolling dice. Hey, Tapoli, welcome to the stream and the chat. I mean, yeah, yeah. It has to be that. It has to be that. Turn 15 for Jimmy. He needs this. Okay, it, it will have to be the Blitz then. Doesn't work. But moves Jimmy one square closer to the goal. If he follows, which he doesn't. And that was a mistake by the Hero's uh, part. He should have been in contact with that uh, Blitzer. 100%. 
Now, is he going to pick up the ball with Mr. Throw? I don't think he can afford to do that. Tense moments. Tense moment. A stressful uh, situation. Is going to be Mr. Throw. Mr. Throw will have to pick up the ball and hand off. Pick up the ball. Does the rush. Face the animosity. Incredible. Of all the things. Still not the end of the wall. Still not the end of the wall. The blitzer can still move. There has been a lot of uh, ones in this game. But look, he has rolled to sixes. He has rolled to sixes. Big, 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 big roll. Top left is the square. Uh, so probably not, but didn't hurt him, and uh, because he was a handoff. Now, now, going for the blitz. Not an armor break. Wait, what's an armor break? Oh. Wendy. Bot down. KO. Now Jimmy is going to have to do some magic dice. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Animosity, let him roll a six. You have seen the play, guys. Hello, Wotan. You are uh, joining one of the most uh, interesting games of Blood Bowl I've seen in a while. Because everything that could go wrong has gone wrong. That's the Blitz gone. And here comes a play for the ages. Wild inaccurate. Catches it. Oh my god. Oh my god. And fail the dodge. Oh my god, that would have been a play. <laughs> oh my god, how a insane. Play for the ages. How insane was that? When he had the intercept, I thought it had wildly inaccurate this way. But uh, it gone straight to him. That would have been incredible, wouldn't it? Oh man.
And that sells the deal. The game is not a draw. <laughs> ah, that would have been. That was probably the better play, actually. I, <laughs> I didn't even think of that. <laughs> oh, dear. Nah, it wasn't because it was a six anyway. Wow. And there you go. Rainer TW with an investment of 10 points gets 34.1 oh. <laughs> points. Thousand points. 34.1 thousand points. Nice. There you go. Clever. <laughs> clever. Clever, uh, clever Rainer probably was counting on you, you know, but uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the, the cheapest, I think, is the biggest, the biggest stand over, the biggest reward I've seen. <laughs> oh dear. Well, um, yeah, it was it was a fun game, wasn't it? It was a fun game, and uh, you know, fair play. I mean, Hiru played better than me. I think he had the better dice as well. I know he quad skull, but um, I, my dice throughout the entire match were horrendous, and like it was just. Do you know what I mean? Like, it was just too much to overcome, wasn't it, I think? Oh. Well, he also started with a double skull. Yeah. First well, roll he could have re-rolled it, right? He could have re-rolled it. He started with a 1 in 9. So, let's see the full appearance. Yeah, where is it? Where is the foul appearance? Does it, does it tell you? I don't think he even uh, tells you foul appearance. All actions. No, there is no the full appearance. I didn't know that full appearance cancel even the movement of the blitz. Yeah, yeah, it's really good now. Yeah. It's it's absolutely mental. They should fix that. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. It is pretty crazy. And everybody, you know, people think, oh, what the dice. Look the rats. 100% for both of them. Not a single <laughs> GFI uh, fail. Man, I'm so annoyed that you can't see the foul appearance rolls. They were there terrible. Was a lot of them. <laughs> they were terrible. <laughs> no, Steve Motti, it finishes 2 0 for uh, Hiru. Yeah, he got the second. Um, well, you know, which could matter for. Uh, Touchdown difference, but um, yeah, now I'm staring down the barrel of an 0 and 5. <laughs> oh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, what a terrible, terrible start. I mean, I think I played okay at this game. It was just, um, I thought the dice were too much in the first half and the second half, but obviously, second half, I played worse by letting him. I shouldn't have had the ball, or I should have, like, you know, covered before the troll bits. Of course, the troll bits is very unlucky, one in 27, -ing, but um, I should have, I should have at least thought about the, you know, that failing. But uh, this is sure convincing me to never go troll again. <laughs> because at the end of the day, yes, it's good, right? It's good having the mighty blow hit all the time. But also, it can lose me the game. And I don't really need another thing that can just lose me the game, do I? So, uh, yep, I think, I think I'm going to go safer in future and not have the troll. But, um, yeah, there you go. Um, Right, thank you. The very animosity, much, the animosity fail was oh. also glorious. Ridiculous! Right? What is what an unbelievably shit throw! I forgot about the animosity. Honestly, um, do blitzers only have it against non-blitzers, or do they have it against everybody? I don't even know. I should have looked because the blitzer was a three plus, right? Where, whereas I thought the like so the the blitzer I thought was a thirty three percent fail, but the. Uh, I thought all I had to do with the Mr. Throw was a 1 in 9 pickup and then a GFI, so that's obviously way better, but then it was the GFI plus the animosity, which I forgot, so... Oh, dear me. Awful. So, yeah, I didn't play good. I didn't play good. Um, I mean, I played all right, obviously, but uh, I think, I think you know, Hiru would have deserved the win, um, even if the dice were equal. <laughs> yeah, there, there, there's been a lot of things. There was also, I did uh, a poll about uh, if Artemis is the best uh, fumble uh, coach mm. and the answer that was uh, that one uh, was maybe not maybe not i mean of course maybe not maybe maybe not the, the, it's basically the, other one, the same the other, ones, <laughs> the other options were maybe yes and not an insult <laughs> hashtag not an insult <laughs>
<laughs> it's not. It's weird though how people act like everything. And they'll say, if you say like you know, if you say like you know, like, I don't know, you know, Elliot's better than Dementor. It was like, it's an insult. It's like God. People can just have a. Uh, they, they, they know that insult was the third option because mm. you know, uh, Artemis is famous to so to use the line "not an insult." Yeah, yeah, it's, but I don't know why everyone has to think everything's an insult. People can have opinions without it being insulting. Anyway, thank you very much, Faimir. Um It was great. Great of you to do yeah. a commentary. Good, and uh, greetings to our viewers in Cuba that oh. have those to locate to watch this game. <laughs> if you are in Cuba and you are uh, watching this game illegally, don't leave a comment or don't subscribe. <laughs> Don't do anything. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, congrats to Hero. Like he, he had some crazy nights of his own, right? He had it was a few one in nines to win, so you know I'm sure he was feeling hard done by uh, right to the very end when it could have been one one. Commiserations to Jimmy though. You know he's probably going to go on five now. Tragedy. Um, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.